Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. Today, I'm super excited to show you the Bowers & Wilkins 700 Series 3 lineup. One of the things I love about the 700 series is in that Goldilocks position, meaning there's the flagship 800 series from Bowers & Wilkins that everyone knows. It's been used in Abbey Road Studios and post-production houses all over the world. Well, the 700 gets that trickle-down tech to get really close to the same tech in the 800, but for a much more affordable price. So to me, this is like that great positioning. You also get incredible aesthetics, great build quality. I've actually been sitting here jamming out with this Macintosh stack and the 700 S3 series, which I think is the first set of all these speakers to show up in the United States. I've been playing with the 702s and with the 706s. I'm gonna walk you through all of the tech that's shared across this line, and then I'm gonna take you through each speaker and try and help you better understand which one would work best for your situation. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now let's take a look at the cabinets themselves. We've got brand new cabinets with a curved baffle here that's just like they do in the 800 series. You'll also see they did a few things to reduce resonance, including bringing out these drivers on top of the cabinet versus in it, like they did in the S2 version. Plus, we have a skinnier cabinet, all of which combines to provide less resonance and better imaging for these speakers. This design just looks super cool. The new sculpted grills are a great touch, and you've now got three finish options, gloss black, gloss white, and the mocha wood veneer. The trim rings are even colored to match the finish. The BMW Diamond models have a tweeter that actually uses diamond dust, and their engineers set out to find a more affordable tech with similar audio characteristics. This led to the carbon double dome tweeter used in the new 700s. These new Series 3 models get an upgraded tweeter with a much longer rear tweeter tube. You would swear you can almost feel the drummer's brush on top of a cymbal. They sound so effortless and delicate. Three of the new models and one of the centers get the new external solid milled tweeter assembly as well. This design puts the tweeter on top of the cabinet rather than inside the cabinet. The solid aluminum housing sits on a decoupling system to further reduce any interference. The benefits this offers for better imaging and pure high frequencies are quite substantial. You'll notice on all the 700 models, a silver looking driver that either serves as a mid-base base or a mid-range driver in the speakers. This material is called Continuum. Their engineering team spent eight years and came up with over 70 different versions of the materials looking for a driver material that had less distortion and breakup at high levels than their famous Kevlar drivers. This special material gives you a sound from the mid-range that is very effortless and totally free of distortion. Finally, I love the new speaker connections. A lot of speakers put the rear connection so close it can be tedious to connect up some serious speaker wire. These are super solid, far apart, and totally exposed for extremely easy access. A super nice touch. Now, I'll get into the different models, and remember, if you purchase your speakers from Audivice, you'll get the brain power from our audio lovers on our tech support team behind you to help you out with speaker placement and fine tuning them for your room. There are three models of towers in the 700 S3 series, the 702, 703, and 704s. When BMW did the latest version of the 800 series diamond, they came up with some serious new tech for the mid-range driver. This has now been trickled down into the tower models of the 700 S3 series. Most of this applies to the mid-range driver of the towers and one center. All of the tower models use the continuum driver only for the mid-range. With it now able to work in a more limited range, they're able to use what is essentially a no-edge diaphragm for the mid-range driver. This design reduces distortion in the driver even more than just the continuum material. These also have a new cast aluminum basket they fine-tuned to bring any distortion created by the basket even lower. In 2007, BMW made a discovery about mid-range drivers that took them 14 years to design a resolution for. 
Almost every type of mid-range driver has what is called a spider behind it. This holds the voice coil and is made from a flexible material. It turns out as this moves, the air generated by the movement hits the back of the mid-range and causes distortion. Well, with the 2021 launch of the new 800 series, they introduced a way to do the task of the spider, but with a material that does not cause this problem called their biomimetic suspension. The new 700 towers in one center get this breakthrough material. These same models also have a special mid-range isolation system that is also found in the 800 models. They use a tapered post that goes all the way to the rear of the cabinet where it is isolated with a spring. You would never know this unless you took the entire speaker apart, but it's really cool tech to advance the state of the art. The bottom line is the mid-range clarity and openness of the 700 S3 towers is very close to what you hear in the 800 series. It is not quite as effortless, but it is incredible how close it is for the cost of the 700 S3 compared to the new 800 series. With the mid-range being covered by the continuum-based driver, BMW uses their airfoil profile cone for the woofers. The thickness of this driver varies as you move to the edge, and again, this tech trickled down from the 800 series. The result is super fast and dynamic bass. In the 702 model, you get the external tweeter assembly, the six inch continuum driver here, but I want you to notice down here, there's a down firing port only in this model that's held to a really tight plinth by four stout posts. This does something really great for this particular speaker, which it allows you to have a lot more flexibility on where you place it in the room because of the down firing port. Very fast and articulate deep bass is provided by three six and a half inch airfoil woofers. The cabinet itself is triple braced internally and weighs in at a very hefty 74 pounds. These have a pretty decent sensitivity of 90 dB, which means you could run them off of a fairly modestly powered amplifier. But like any great speaker, more power is gonna give you better results. If you've had your eye on the 804 Diamond model, but you could not reach for its current price of 14K a pair, these will get you really close at half the price. Moving down to the 703 S3 gets you what is basically a slimmed down version of the 702 S3. You get the same great external tweeter, the exact same high-tech mid-range driver, and two of the airfoil woofers instead of three. But at the time of this video, these are only 1,000 less than the top of the line 702 S3. And if you're already at that price point, you can probably afford to jump up to the 702 S3, which I really think is a better speaker. So unless your room is just too small and these might be a stretch, I would highly recommend jumping up to the 702 S3 if you're between the 702 and 703. The 704 S3 has the same type of tweeter you get in the bookshelf models with it being built into the cabinet. It does have the special tapered tube behind it. You also get the great tech of the biomimetic mid-range, just like in the 702 and 703. The mid-range in the 704 S3 is a five inch driver, as are the two aerofoil woofers. I really like this one. While it's not quite as open on the top end as the other two, the mid-range sounds fantastic, and those two five inch woofers are just super fast. The smaller cabinet gives it a slight edge in stereo imaging too. At almost half the price of the 702 S3, these are probably the best value in the entire lineup. The bookshelf models in the 700 S3 series are all a two-way design. The combination of mid-range base driver makes use of the continuum cone. I see these being used where a tower speaker will not fit in your space or as surround sound speakers in a home theater system. The top of the line bookshelf model 705 S3 uses the exact same solid body external tweeter you get on the 702 S3 and 703 S3 models. It has a six and a half inch continuum cone mid base driver with the curved cabinet. Set up properly, these put out a great three-dimensional image with pretty decent bass response as well. I do recommend for best performance to position these on a pair of stands out in your room. If you need to put a speaker inside a bookcase, I suggest you look at the 706 S3 as it will cost less 
and being inside of a bookcase will negate some of the advantages of the separate tweeter housing. All right, so let's take a look at the 706. This is essentially the same cabinet as the 705, but with the tweeter assembly put into the cabinet. So if you're really trying to get the same base extension as you would get, on the 705 and you want that great Bowers & Wilkins sound in a home or office but maybe want to put it in a bookshelf, this is the right speaker to do that with. With the 707S3, you drop to a smaller cabinet size, which makes them good for tight spaces or surround speakers. You still get all the great new tech in the 700S3 models with a five inch mid-range woofer unit. It will take a bit of power to get them going though, as they have a sensitivity rating of only 84 dB. However, for the $400 difference in cost at the time of this video for the 706 S3, I'd recommend you spend the extra money to get much more extended bass and an easier to drive speaker, which will translate into better dynamics as well. There are two center channel speakers in the new lineup, and to my ears, the choice between them is extremely simple. If you need to put the center channel inside a smaller cabinet, the HTM 7.2 S3 is the right model for you. It is compact and will blend well with the other 700 S3 speakers. It uses the same tweeter as the smaller bookshelves and 704 S3 and with two 5-inch continuum mid-range drivers. However, if you have the room to put your center on top of a cabinet, the HTM 71 S3 is the one to get. It is miles ahead of the smaller one, and in fact, is one of the best center speakers I've heard for its price. You'll get the top-mounted separate tweeter, the same incredible 5-inch continuum mid-range driver as the 704 S3 with two 5-inch woofers. The clarity you get in voices with the HTM 71 S3 is fantastic. It is a lot larger physically, but worth every penny. I hope this overview of the new BMW 700 S3 series has helped you better understand what models are best suited for your room and budget. If you're not sure, chat or call us at audioadvice.com or stop by one of our award-winning showrooms. If you're designing a theater or media room, you definitely want to use our free home theater design tool, which will show you exactly where to place your speakers, seats, and everything else. You can also check out our how-to videos, buyer's guides, inspiration gallery, and our famous videos with time lapses of different home theater buildouts. We also have a full YouTube playlist with test tones and patterns to help you set up and calibrate your system for optimal performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.